For patients with renal cell carcinoma who undergo surgery, adjuvant pembrolizumab was approved by the Food and Drug Administration on the basis of improvements in disease-free survival observed in the Keynote 564 trial. Now researchers report results for overall survival from an interim analysis in that trial. In the Phase three randomized double-blind trial, 994 patients who had undergone surgery for clear cell renal cell carcinoma within the prior 12 weeks were determined on the basis of investigator assessment to be disease-free and had an intermediate to high or high risk of disease recurrence, were assigned to receive intravenous pembrolizumab at a dose of 200 mg or placebo every three weeks for up to 17 cycles. As noted, the primary endpoint, disease-free survival, was reported earlier. A key secondary endpoint was overall survival. During a median follow-up of approximately 57 months, overall survival was significantly improved with pembrolizumab as compared with placebo. The estimated percentage of participants who were alive at 48 months was 91.2% in the pembrolizumab group as compared with 86.0% in the placebo group. In terms of safety, discontinuation due to adverse events of any cause occurred more often in the pembrolizumab group than in the placebo group. Pembrolizumab was also associated with a higher incidence of serious adverse events of any cause and with a higher incidence of grade 3 or 4 adverse events that were related to pembrolizumab or placebo. The authors conclude that in participants with clear cell renal cell carcinoma at increased risk for recurrence following surgery, adjuvant pembrolizumab significantly prolonged overall survival as compared with placebo. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.